called by Patricia Briggs. Mercedes, known as Mercy Thompson, is a mechanic who has the ability to change into a coyote. And um, she lives in the state of Washington. She uh, works at her shop. She know, But she also knows about the other things that live among humans that humans don't know about, namely the werewolves, the vampires, and the fae. Well, in the 80s, the fae came out, so the humans are aware that there are other things, but they still don't know about the werewolves or the vampires. Um, she is, where she lives is kind of across the field from the local werewolf alpha, um, Adam, and one night she has she wakes up in the middle of the night there's something strange going on she's not sure what it is when she um, finds a dead body on her property she gets over to who is a werewolf that she knows is a werewolf she gets over to adam's place because she assumes something is going on which it is she gets there just in time to help get rid of the attackers who um have injured Adam and kidnapped Adam's daughter, Jessie. So she heads off to um, Montana, her hometown in Montana, uh, to the town where Bran, who is the leader of like all of the werewolves in North America, uh, lives, where he helped raise her and that's how she knows about the werewolves, not just because she turns into a coyote. But she, she gets there and she talks to Bran and Bran sends back uh, with her and Adam a couple days later, um, uh, his son Samuel. They head back to Washington to find Jesse. And um, as when they get there, Adam is still recovering, so Mercy does her own digging, looking for Jesse. She gets information from information from a fae that leads her to the vampires. The vampires give her information that leads her to a group of werewolves who are visiting um, the city that they live in. And Adam, by this time, has recovered uh, almost 100%. He's still got a little bit, but he's almost 100%. He refuses to let Mercy go with him and the pack to save Jesse because it's too dangerous. So she's mad, but she's she's still thinking about like why is this happening? Why was Adam attacked and Jesse taken and what's going on? Well, the werewolves are the Bran is le uh, getting ready to let the world know that the werewolves exist. Um, forensics is getting too advanced. Technology is just moving on to where they can't hide themselves as easily as they used to. So she thinks that's the reason uh, to try and get Adam to challenge Brand for leadership of the werewolves so that they don't come out of hiding. Well, um, the next day she still hasn't heard from Adam and she finds out that Adam has disappeared. So Adam and Jesse are both missing now. That night, she's visited by some of the visiting werewolves who they didn't re they didn't plan on having kidnapping and extortion and murder be the reason. They don't they're not involved with that. So they're going to help get save Jesse and Adam. Mercy goes in as to stay with Jesse and Adam since they're in the same room until the cavalry arrives and the wolves show up, the pack of werewolves show up and rescue them. They find the witch that was helping the werewolf and the werewolf that was trying to uh, get Adam to challenge Bran. And a lot of that was, yes, they didn't want the wolves to come out, but they also needed this werewolf wanted his father, who was a newly changed werewolf, to get past his control issues so that he can live. If a werewolf loses control, he cannot live because werewolves have to be in control or else they destroy everything. <laughs> so 